I am wondering if you know how to get rid of entities in the energetic field. I have a dark ghosty that has been harassing me. Thank you for any advice. This is a really interesting one. It's different than a lot of the questions I typically get because I don't typically talk about entities or things like that. And so I'd like to clarify this now. When we think of entities or ghosties, as you put it, I like that you use ghosties as a way it sounds, it kind of sounds cute and sweet instead of formidable and scary. But you actually did say that you have a, a ghostie in your energetic field that's been harassing you. So I wanna clarify what this is. Every thought that's ever been thought on planet Earth is still out there. Some of them have been put into forms, like somebody thought about creating a cell phone and, and here we have them. And somebody thought about putting light bulbs into sockets and there we have that. But every single thought that has ever been thought on planet Earth still exists. So when you say entities, I'd like you to see this as a thought. You, you can't see it, you can't feel it and touch it, except for what the way it makes you feel, like a thought can make you feel. And so in order to make these ideas about entities less formidable or scary, just know that it's a thought. So whatever we give attention to, we get more of. So if you feel that there's an entity that's in your experience, let yourself move towards it and embrace it with love because there is nothing more formidable than love. There's nothing that could even contend with true and powerful love. Only love is real. Nothing real can be threatened. Herein lies all the peace of the divine. So if there's a thought out there that's a little wayward or scary or uncontrollable, think about the world at large right now and think about all of the many thoughts that people are thinking that are wily and crazy. And you can think of those as entities too. They kind of possess people to do all kinds of crazy things that take place in, in, in situations on earth right now that feel like conflict or feel like challenge and pain. So when you're thinking of that as something possessing you, you can think of somebody in the supermarket right now having a challenge with somebody because of they're, they're too close and having social distance or haven't worn a mask in this pandemic time. And that could be like someone being possessed by something that's not a very happy thought or a connecting thought or a very loving spiritual thought. It's, it's something that feels disconnecting. So I'd really like you to pay attention to that. I'd also like you to pay attention to another thing. Where have you been focusing or thinking? Because often when people have been focusing or thinking about things that are not in their best interest, like um, going along with crowds of people who are doing things that are maybe dysfunctional and just going for the ride and feeling as though that doesn't really affect you, that kind of energy allows for us to feel as though things like entities are taking over when it's really us being driven by a need to be distanced from ourselves in order to please others. Things like drugs and alcohol are things that if you really feel it, you would feel that there's a temporary capacity to be more relaxed and so that it might feel aligned, but then ultimately they make you feel disconnected. So they could feel as though you're allowing space or time for entities or ghosties to come into your experience or thoughts that aren't necessarily in your best interest. So just let yourself feel that now, that to transcend or to defeat any kind of, in quotes, entity, or any experience or thought that doesn't feel loving, all you have to do is get aligned with this beautiful capacity that we all have to go vertical, be in a space of love. I receive love now. I accept love now. I embrace love now. I abide in love now. I give love now. I receive love now. And now you're in a place where you are all love aligned with love. Only love is real. Nothing real can be threatened. Herein lies the peace of the divine. Just know that now nothing can touch you.
And then go out and share that. The more you give, the more you will receive, the more you'll feel yourself aligned. And then you'll know that you can transcend anything in quotes that's evil and, and be the love that you are. That's the whole purpose for being here. So you can use anything, no matter what it is, to align yourself back with love. That's, that's your intention, and that's what you'll receive, and that's what you'll get.